Sanding paint is not one of the funnest job in the world. As you can see inside here, there's paint all over. Also on me. But I will spare you for looking at me grinding a few hours. Ready to be cleaned. Hello and welcome. This is part three. First we did the wash on the boat, test driving, then we did the engine. Now we're going to uh, make this one beautiful by giving it a little paint, some carpet uh, and everything. First of all, we need a beer because we cannot work without beer. Ah, this beer, this is from Czech Republic. It is a very good beer. This, sh this should be the father of the Budweiser beer that you are drinking in, uh, in uh, the United States. So, uh, cheers. Now I will drink this beer, paint the inside of the boat. I will also eat this. So, uh, let's paint. After the first layer of paint, it actually looks nice now. Hello. So, I was uh, looking at the paint drying and I was thinking, is the engine, it is not running good. I thought it was, but when I'm thinking about it, it's not running good. It's not coming to top speed. I saw the speed to 55 kilometers an hour. Just a quick second, I was getting up there and afterwards it was only in around 40. When I took it out the second time after I've changed the oil and everything, the top speed was only in around 40 kilometers an hour and it couldn't get up uh, to top speed very fast. I need to take it very, very slowly. So, I was thinking, I haven't tested the basic of the engine. I haven't done that. I couldn't check the compression because my compression uh, tester doesn't fit. I actually didn't check the uh, the spark on it. Uh, I usually use my spark test to test all of them, are the spark or not, but I'm, I'm doing that when I'm making a compression test normally. So I didn't do it. I, I had the tester out, but I never checked it. That was maybe stupid. So I come up with, okay, why not just start it up pull out the, uh, the spark plugs and here's the result. not running on the bottom so I switch the spark plugs around just to see if that is it
now. I will uh, go out and test it tomorrow because I cannot chill out of the water because when I'm giving gas I, I can still hear this uh, um, It should run on all four now. It was only running on three. I think this will actually fix the issue but we will see tomorrow when we are getting into the sea and everything. That it won't run as good now it could be because it's neat resistant in the exhaust. Uh, it's very important not to see, okay, it's working now and it's not working now. You need to put it, put it into water, test it into the water because the exhaust they can it can stay so much that it is in water and not as a hose as this one. It is okay to flush it like this, but never test that engine. Do it work, do it not work. Because you can only tell it when it's on the water and it's working. I'm happy now. I also painted the inside the second time, so that's good. So now I will go in and see some television or some YouTube or something like that. is 60.9 this is when i trimmed the engine a little bit it come up uh, on a higher level so that was so nice i love it this is so nice so awesome this calls for a victory beer so i actually found this one it's a danish beer i think i have shown you it before it's a white beer with uh, an IPA and this is one of my favorite beers So now I am sitting on the sea in my new boat with the engine that actually is running as it should and I'm so happy about that So the only thing that I'm missing right now is my uh, Yamaha motorbike Maybe my wife, but I will not say anything about that So now you see me so happy so one thing I will say to you, remember, have fun, sail safe and have a nice day.